Alrighty. So, without further ado, <laughs> let's just get straight into it. Hi there. Oh, Hello. Welcome to uh, another Warcraft Free Reforged video. This is Witty. Welcome back. We're just going to be taking a look at some of the Reforged models that are more polished. Thanks to Wowhead, they've released some pictures of the Murlocs. So we're going to start off with the standard Murloc. And for comparison's sake, I've got a green screen. Some of it may be a little bit see-through. It has the magenta background. And this little guy actually has a bit of a magenta in him. So if you feel like he's a little bit see-through, that's why. So here's your really grotesque looking frog type creature. <laughs> it's kind of horrible in a way. It definitely looks like a murloc though. Just almost like the more grotesque BlizzCon version, which is where you are dressed up in a murloc costume. So it's the more over-the-top one. I love the weapon and shield though. Like those feel very sort of real and cool. Ah, oh, that's a nice shot. He looks more like a murloc there. Oops, don't drag that. Keep that in board. So... Let's come back over to our green screen part. See if I can drag that instead. So, here we go. So, I've got him being a little bit antsy. I might slow down his animation a little bit so you can kind of get an idea. He doesn't seem to open his eyes, though. So, in the newer version, they've made it so they actually open their eyes. Because you can see all of the animations have him with his eyes closed. So, he's like Illidan. Just like him. So, you can see the weapon's been greatly improved. The shield is actually pretty correspondent to the original. So, uh, very nice on that aspect. They do look cool, though, these new murlocs. Like, I don't have that much of a problem with them. I know some people might do. Like, they look like murlocs. The shape is there and everything. But they uh, do seem a little bit stronger and tougher than the more cutesy original Warcraft 3 ones. But you can see the shape and everything is pretty much spot on. For the most part. they just got more of an aggressive pose. So slightly less cute. Than the uh, original ones. Sorry you're looking at that guy's butt all the time. I'll swap it over to the flesh eater. And we'll give him. Now he's going to look very different. Because a lot of the original Warcraft 3 Murlocs. Are basically just reskin models. Whereas obviously the Blizzard art team. Have taken the time to create new monstrosities. As we can see here. So this... Is what, so you're looking at the old one on the right hand side and you're looking at the new one here. Uh, yeah, a little different. Just a little different. Let's pull back a little bit so we can get more of a scope. It's looking a lot more sergy in a way. But the reason why is these guys live in the swamps. They've had a tough time, a rough life. They're not dealing so well with it. I don't know their full background story, but needless to say, they obviously don't look as healthy as the uh, standard murloc. So... Moving on to the next one, we have the Murloc Mutant. So this is another iteration of this monstrous looking creation. It's got like a, almost a sword and like these chains. So yeah, this one's having a tough time. Not being looked after very well, has he? So here we have the Murloc Mutant. We're going to pull this one round. Again, just the original models will look much more like one another. Whereas these new ones have a lot more flair. He's got a very lizard dragon tongue style look to him and these horrible pustules that are sticking out i love the weapon sticking out as well look, the the uh, arrows as well it's almost like he's being used for target practice bit of a cleaver going on as well for his weapon his original counterpart actually has a bit of a cleaver as well if you look at the weapon so maybe that's where they got the idea it's like it's being carved out of whale bone or something and then last but not least, the back, which looks incredibly fa uh, like file. I like the um, skin color touches at the downside of it. It's like a sort of orange tints and then sort of goes back into green. And a nice cape that's got this kind of like teal green sort of shade into it. Murloc Nightcrawler. Now he looks a little bit healthier, this guy. Looks more like the original Murloc. He's got like a turtle shell and... Very sharp looking weapon as well. Curved blade. So we find ourselves the Nightcrawler again. Just going to basically be a remodeled look. <laughs> I'm just going to have him with that attack pose because it looks funny. So, okay. There you have the original. And we're going to scroll over. 
put him like this. He's got a bandage. You can imagine this guy chasing you down. He'd be quite nimble, I think. Then we move on to the Plague Bearer. Okay, so in this regard, I don't actually have a Plague Bearer model in my War Free Fewer. But yikers, look at that drool. Short little spiked club. I mean, it feels like he's going to burst at any moment. He's really over the top, this guy. But I guess it's in the name, Plague Bearer. So if you actually look at the original model, this is the Plague Bearer that you can see the green circles around. This one is just the Flesh Eater, for comparison. It's basically the same model, but the Plague Bearer's got a green skin to it. Darker, more macabre-looking character. And the funny thing is, as Nick pointed this out to me, is the original shields never got the um, transparency quite correct. So those black sides are supposed to be transparent, so it looks more like an actual shell. But this is the case for all Murloc models. If you look close enough, they just have still the black outer casing. So obviously you've got to appreciate a lot of the work that Blizzard have done in trying to not only give us new iterations of these models rather than just pure reskins, but actually all the detail that goes into it. And just the polish is just really starting to shine through now. It's almost like, ugh, yeah, he's everything about this creature, quite file. They look like they fit into the Diablo universe quite a lot as well. Now this guy, he is a warrior. He's got a couple of arrow shafts sticking into his larger round shield. He's got red raw feet from chasing Alliance and Horde players down all day. Let's pull up the green screen for this one, but it's going to look like basically all the other Murlocs, just to let you know. But he is a lot more orangey, a lot more... I think I might change the background here to green. Might be able to get away with that. Change the background color to green. Oh my goodness. I've got to change this, apologies. <laughs> you can see, work on the fly. So if we change this to green screen... That should hopefully come across a little bit more clearer now. There he is, in all his glory. So let's move this guy slightly over to the left. Pull back a little bit. And then have this guy. I like the look of this guy. He looks very keen and eager. Ready to fight and battle. I'll have him walking ahead as part of his animation. So you can see the walking animation as well. So he's got those pink sort of spikes. The original Murlocs look a lot more spiky. These newer ones, it feels more organically grown into their skin. And there you have it. Quick little video just showing off some of the higher detailed polishes that Blizzard have put into the Murloc models. And we're getting a lot of this now for all of the characters. Big fan of these, really. They do look a little bit grotesque. Not quite as cute as the originals, but the weapon and shields and the other details just really help bring out just how awesome the Murlocs can actually be. So thank you guys very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you later.